Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Sogaleo GX promo card, and we're going to be comboing it with, of course, Sogaleo GX from Sun and Moon Base Set, because it's a really good combo. Um, Now, this deck right now is interesting, and the games that I got were actually kind of um, showing off, I think, one of like the main, without really giving away anything, kind of one of like the main... Um, dilemmas this deck might face when trying to be good right now this deck probably gets like a lot better next set when we get uh ditto prism star and we also get the brand new alola nine tails gx i think this deck will get a lot better then but for now this deck kind of has some issues being effective um again i got the games i got were pretty good um i think they definitely kind of showed off what this deck is about and what it can do but it kind of just showed off both its strengths and its weaknesses, which I think is really good. Um, so yeah, let's get into the deck. So obviously, the main aspect of the deck is just Sogaleo. So Sogaleo GX is our main attacker of the deck with Sunsteel Strike. It does 230 damage. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. We obviously use Sunsteel Strike to take a big one-shot. 230 damage, cleans house on almost anything. And um, after you do that attack, you lose all the energy. So before we know that Sogaleo Rayquaza used to be the deck, um, Rayquaza is a pretty awesome card. But now we have like a reprint Rayquaza in the form of a Sogaleo, which is really ironic. I'm pretty sure Pokemon did that on purpose. Um, but yeah, Sogaleo, the new Sogaleo, is really good. Um, it has three attacks, all of which are pretty good. It's got an ability, or not three attacks, has an ability, but you get my point, right? It has an ability. Your Pokemon to play have no weakness, so you take off your fire weakness, which is kind of useful, especially if you end up playing against Ho-Oh or something. Um, but you get Turbo Strike, which is one of the, the main things that makes this card so good is Turbo Strike, of course. Attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So obviously the idea of this deck is you use Sunsteel Strike, take a knockout, get rid of the energy. Next turn, Ultra Road into Sokaleo GX, Turbo Strike, knock them out, go back into Sunsteel, rinse and repeat. So it's a very good combo, and it works pretty well. Sokaleo GX, Prism Star, or Prism Star, sorry, the GX promo. There's too many Sogaleos in this deck, it scrambles my brain, apparently. But, um, yeah, Sogaleos, uh, GX attack here, prominence, heal all damage from all your Pokemon, is actually really good, thanks to the fact that we're kind of in, like, a spread-heavy format. Even next set, when we get stuff like Giratina, the spread is gonna be very real, so, of course, um, prominence is pretty good, um, against, you know, decks like Coco and Shrine and stuff like that. Now, obviously, the main GX attack Sogaleos always used is Soul Burst, which allows you to search check for 5 energy attack your Pokemon in any way. Like, obviously, you want to get a turn 2 Sogaleo online, and then what you want to do is you want to Soul Burst, and then go from there. Uh, but maybe Prominence is a bit better now in some situations, so it's nice to have that option. And then we go into the other cards in the deck. We are playing one Prism Star Sogaleo. Obviously, it's another Sogaleo. It's not a GX attacker, and it has Radiant Star, which is another way to refill energy back on Cell Steel Strike. I am playing a Ranguru, of course. I do have a Cell Steel in the deck, mainly just here for that Fighting Resistance. Um, we know Fighting types are relevant right now, so Cell Steel can come in handy when you play against Fighting types because. It's got resistant fighting, and this can be good against stuff like Baby Buzzwool, which can struggle to sometimes do that much damage to you because of strong energy leaving. It's harder for them to get that much damage on Celesteela. Um, obviously, there's other things you can play, like another Sogaleo, um, the Baby one. You can also like play like a Heat Ran or something if you really want, but I think Celesteela is also good. Alolan Vulpix wouldn't be bad in here either. Um, I am playing two Delmize just for Steelworks. One of the big problems that this Sogaleo has is it does not one-shot a lot of stuff like Lugia's. It doesn't one-shot Coco's. It doesn't one-shot Buzzwool. Uh, so we really need to have that 130 damage. Like, it's, like, mandatory in order to one-shot Lugia, Buzzwool, and Tapu Coco. Three of the biggest babies right now. So Delmize just lets us hit those numbers. And we just one Tapu Lele, of course, and four Cosmos for... Two Cosmo M. That's it for the Pokemon. We go into the items now. One Field Blower to get rid of any stadiums and tools and stuff. Two Max Potions. Obviously, the idea here is after we do Sunsteel Strike, Sokaleo has no energy on it. 250 HP, very bulk bulky. You can just Max Potion that off. One Treasure. Treasure gets you your Cosmogs, your Cosmo M's, your Delmys, and your Lele's. Two might be better. Three Alt. Uh, that's false. Just so you can put your basics on your bench. Four Candies to go straight in your Sokaleo's. One Stretcher to get your Pokemon back. Four copies of Ultra Ball to be able to search for your Pokemon. Four copies of Cynthia, obviously for draw. Three Guzmas, just to bring stuff up, knock them out. Very important to play this card, I think. Um, I'm playing one Hala, 
Um, originally, I didn't have that many draw spores in the deck, which is something you don't like seeing. So I threw in a holla. You know, you might use an early game soul burst. You could holla draw up to seven. Really useful in this deck. Uh, three lilies. Turn one lily is the ideal start with this deck. Drawing up to eight cards is really powerful. Um, stuff like Steven's Resolve wouldn't be terrible either. One Professor Kikui. Uh, really just here for that extra 20 for Turbo Strike. It'd also be useful, though, with uh, Corona Impact and sometimes even, you know, self Dela. We got two choice bands, still important to play in my opinion, thanks to Sunsteel Strike needing that 30 on Metagross and stuff. Uh, one super boost energy, mainly just here because the idea is to just build up a bunch of Sogaleos, get a bunch of Sogaleos in play, and this boost energy gives us a free Sunsteel Strike. 4 DCEs and 9 basic metal energies. That is the Sogaleo Sogaleo deck if you want to call it that, or the just pure Sogaleo deck. That's basically what it is. It's a fun deck and um, I think this deck is good, um, though I think this deck does kind of need the support of ditto prism and also maybe nine tails really for it to pop off but other than that this deck is pretty fun to play and can definitely work if you get it going so let's go find some games on pc joe you guys in a minute all right guys here we go let's go do some matches with sogaleo here see what we can do and see how good this deck really is so first game it looks like we're gonna have to pure psychic deck most likely gonna be a malamar deck but there's no like fighting so we'll have to see how we do we are gonna win the coin flip um, which is good, and let's see what we end up starting with here. Okay, we got a Lele start, not the best starter in the world, but it's better than nothing. We do have a turn one Nest Ball. We'll see what we can do with this hand. I do have some energies. Don't look like we're able to maybe get a turn two with this hand, because you know what you want to do with a stage two deck, you, you, you want to get like a good turn two Lily going. So, we'll see. Alright, so my opponent, ooh. So... He is playing a Lunala deck. I didn't expect that. So we'll grab Cosmog. We did prize one of our Sogaleo GXs. Okay, so mostly everything seems to be intact with the deck right now. How many candies? We got one rare candy prize. All right, that's fine. Not too bad of prizes. Um, I'm tempted just to attach the active because I can start putting pressure on. If I get to the DC, I can knock out Cosmog next turn. And, ooh, nice. So we do have a turn two Sogaleo. Not the Sogaleo that we want to get into play right away, but it's better than nothing, I guess. We can start attacking with it also, which is good. My opponent's going to put a DC on. Okay. They're obviously not... I'm, I guess they're playing a Malamar Lunala deck, which is what I kind of want to try out with the new Lunala GX. I think the only real good card with it is probably Malamar. So we'll probably look at a Malamar build once I get another one. All right, let me just lower the white camp bit. All right. So... This matchup I'm fine with. We are resistant to Psychic, so it's going to be hard for him to even one-shot me. We did draw a DC, uh, Guzma, sorry, which is pretty good. We'll put down the Sogaleo GX, and we can kind of just chill for now. We can knock out the Cosmog, remove his DC off the board, get some damage on him. And hopefully we're able to just get into the rest of our cards. We'll see what our prize is going to be. We did prize a Rare Candy. I know that much. There we go, we got it. I didn't actually expect to get it. Alright, so we can maybe draw another Sogaleo GX here. We can try and get the Ultra Road going. And other than that, we have a pretty good setup here. I mean, we got the turn to Sogaleo, and yeah, he concedes. I kind of figured he would end up conceding there. Uh, but yeah, we get 25 coins. And we're going to move on another game. And I am saving up for Lost Thunder. Almost at 5k coins, which I'm pretty sure is 25 packs. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Which is pretty good. I mean, I want to at least try and get 30... 5 to 40 at most. But I'm going to be buying a lot of codes for this new set. Because this is like one of the biggest sets we have ever seen. So it's really good. And another coin flip winning in the bag, which is really good. But yeah, this set is just so big. You kind of have to just get everything you can. We're going to start with Cosmog and Delmize. Um, I'll probably just start with Cosmog. You could go Delmize because it can take a hit. Not to mention it's resistant to fighting. And once you get a Sogaleo GX in play, you kind of get the switching option, so maybe I should have started with him. Ooh, I think it's Metagross. Okay. Thankfully, we are playing multiple choice bands. And we got the Dalmizes. Which is good. Alright, we do have a Nest Ball here. We can get another Cosmog down, I guess. So we did prize one of our Sogaleos. One of our promos. We did prize a Cosmog. Good to know. We do have all our rare candies. We have... Okay, we got mostly everything. Having stuff like Kakui, Delmize, and Choice Band, it just makes this matchup so much easier. 
I might as well just stay in the active, to be honest. Yeah, no real harm in retreating. We could retreat, maybe go into COD, the other COD, but there's no point. There's no point. We don't need the energy in the discard. Um, this matchup shouldn't be too bad for us, if to be honest with you. There's a lot of one-shotting attackers here, thanks to all the combinations we play. Shouldn't be too hard to one-shot his Metagross GXs, thanks to Professor Kikui, and thanks to Delmize and Choice Ban. This should be pretty easy with once we get a Sunseal Strike online. So we are going to see a Nest Ball from my opponent. Okay, so we'll see if they end up getting any crazy Metagrosses next turn. That's the only thing I'm really scared of. It looks like he's just going to go into Beacon here, which is fine. We have the option to Treasure for Cosmoem or Lele. I think I grab Lele. I could, I could also go get Celesteel and play this match. Metagross does have a big retreat cost, so Rocket Fall could be a good attack for cheap energy. I mean, one of the nice things with Celesteela is, of course, that fighting resistance comes in handy against Buzzwool and Lycanroc and stuff. But we aren't playing against that, so we don't really need Celesteela. But I kind of want to play it. I don't know if I want to go for a Lily or a Cynthia. I think a Lily just seems like the better option here. Ooh, they're playing Ultra Necrozma. That actually does make this matchup a bit scarier. So, we got a Treasure Top Deck. Or a Max Potion, sorry. I think I will grab Lele. I don't even think we're getting knocked out next turn. I think it's safe to just do this. I guess we have to put Celesteela down. Don't really want to, but it's whatever. And uh, we'll just grab Lele for Lily. It's either Lily or Cynthia. I can't judge him, unfortunately. Another thing this deck could play is Steven's Resolve. If you really want, you could run that. I think I just grabbed Lily, though, because if we can get into Rare Candy here, we can get the Sogaleo GX in play. Ooh, we didn't hit it. Ooh, that is actually pretty rough. Ooh, ooh that's bad. We didn't get that much to work with either. Field Blower can get rid of Sky Pillar, but that's not going to do much. I think I just Dust Gathering. That kind of sucks. Ah, uh, another Choice Band. Big hand full of items. Not hitting Rare Candy there. It's pretty bad. We should be able to survive the turn, hopefully. I don't think my opponent knocks me out. Yeah, no Metagross, so we're good. But my opponent's starting to put on some pressure. So we definitely have to pick up the pace here if we're going to get anything going. Really needed to get that rare candy. That really sucks. Dust Gathering might save us because we technically get an extra two cards when we draw into our next turn. And I'm hoping that gives us something. Because if not, we're in trouble. And my opponent's going to Steven's Resolve. Which is bad because they basically guarantee crazy stuff happens here. So we really, really, really need to get a good top deck. Really badly. We really need a good top deck here to save us. If we don't get a good top deck, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. So that's the problem with this deck, I guess. If you don't get the Sogaleo in play, you know, you kind of fall back. You know, we could play Vulpix in the deck also. Something you can consider if you really wanted to. So, okay. What do we draw? Oranguru. He came at the worst time. I mean, I guess we'll put him down. I'm going to have to probably just go into the other Cosmo. Well, it doesn't matter if I retreat, actually. Hmm. Alright, we're going to attach to Celesteela because this way I can maybe build up Rocket Fall if I get a DC top deck. My opponent's going to knock me out next turn, so there's not much we can do about it. I guess I just Dust Gathering again. This really sucks. Another energy is not helping. At least we won't draw into that, so that's good. But yeah, just not hitting Rare Candies here is just really hurting us. We're not going to be able to get much going. I mean, I'm actually comfortable with this matchup because Metagross can't one-shot us. And we have so many ways to do 200 and 50 to 260 damage that is really not a big deal. Metagross is like not a big deal, but it's just the fact that we are drawing so miserably right now. I hate it. We just have so many like excess cards like max potions and like even choice bands sometimes can just be something you don't want to draw. But next turn we should be able to maybe do like one instruct here. But my opponent just Tate and Liza. They don't even bother like retreating. They're just gonna just go Tate and Liza. We need to deal with this alternate Krosma ASAP. It does have a true retreat cost. So there's that. We're going to have to bring up Celesteel. I don't know how many Psychics he plays, but we might be safe for Celesteel to take one hit here. Wow, that could not have been a better top deck. I'm kidding. Okay, so 
I kind of feel like I might be able to play my hand down here. I'm gonna have to play mostly everything from my hand to pull this off. Yeah, I can draw one extra card. Whoop de doo. <laughs> one extra card. Not a lot. Alright, come on, Oranguru. We are counting on you. Okay, nice. There we go. That's what we needed. We needed some leverage. So, we're back in the game a little bit, which is good. That was a really good instruct. Alright, here we go. We'll Soul Burst. Um, two medals to the active. We have Max Potion in our hand, actually. Maybe I don't want to do that. Blaster knocks him out. So I, I can just Blaster this alternate Krosma. I think that might actually be a bit better. Yeah, I think we Blaster him instead. Yeah. Yeah, Blaster seems fine. So... Hmm, do I really want to do that, though? So I'm not going to get knocked out. I can just Max Potion the damage off. So I'll Steel looking tank for a bit, too, if we knock him out with Delmize. Yeah, I think that's the better play. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do I want to put the energy anywhere else? No, we can't Blaster him! Oh, shoot! Okay, so yeah, I guess we have to take the knockout here. Alrighty, then. Silly me. Dang it, dude. I forgot. Oh, that was close. I almost screwed that up. Glad I didn't. That was close. I, th I completely forgot we're already doing our GX attack. I mean... Yeah, even if I had a choice ban, I would knock him out. Oh, another energy gets discarded. That's pretty bad. If he knocks me out, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. I mean, we might just lose Sogaleo anyways. Yeah, I really wish I could just blast or knock him out. That'd be so much safer. I think just not getting everything we needed to a bit earlier is what really is hurting us here. We're gonna get hit hard. We gotta hope we survive the turn. Ooh, okay, got rid of a max potion. That's pretty good. So, only one psychic of the discard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe. Delmize doesn't increase his damage. He's only going to be hitting me for 180. We're going to get knocked out by a Metagross, though, most likely. So, there's that. Like, I really don't want to lose Sogaleo here, but I don't really have a choice. I mean, I could attack with Celesteel and two-shot him, but if he max potions... Yes, choice ban will give him the knockout on Celesteel, so we don't want to do that. But losing Sogaleo is just really unfortunate. Really wish I could do Blaster. I really wish I could just max Potion right now. Kinda wish I could go into baby Sogaleo too. I could try and get a Guzma here and maybe pick off a Metagross. Um, I'm gonna attach. Instruct for two. Let's see if we can maybe find Guzma. No, Cosmo one works. That's pretty good. We got Cynthia. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, we have Sogaleo. <coughs> Not bad. I guess we will take the knockout. Yeah, we'll have to just. We could moon press him once again, but because he has choice band on, Cell Steel gets knocked out. So we'll just take him out. I really wish we could save that for Metagross. That's really annoying, but whatever. We can try and recover. Let's see what our prizes are. Delmice, another Cosmog. I might go for Sogaleo Prism Star. We still have some medals left, so I can probably grab Sogaleo Prism Star here and do a, a whatever his attack's name is. And if not, Cell Steel can hopefully put some work in. I mean, just maybe though, he doesn't have. He only has two cards in his hand. No, no Ranguru's in play. So maybe there's an off chance he actually whiffs energy here. And then we might get a turn to Max Potion. I doubt he'll whiff an energy, but I guess we gotta hope he's down three energies. I doubt he'll whiff it, but you know, if he does whiff it, yay me. Like, if he whiffs energy here, we're gonna be in a really good spot. But he's probably not gonna whiff it. But who knows? Who knows? He might whiff it. Like, if he whiffs it, he'll have to just algorithm... He didn't whiff it, rip. Unless he's just doing this because he can. Ah, dang it. Dang it. I really wish he didn't hit that. That's annoying, but whatever. 
So we're going to be kind of in a slower spot now that he's knocking me out. We get another Sogaleo down. We can Ultra Ball for... Um, grab the Solgaleo Prism Star and then maybe hope to go from there. But if not, we can put some pressure on with Celesteela. But yeah, this is a matchup that I like. But again, the slow start is what's really hurting me here. Because having a 210 damage on Solgaleo is not what we wanted to have happen. I mean, not to mention Celesteela could go down next turn. So Ultra Ball... Probably just get rid of Ultra Ball and Rare Candy, <laughs> I guess. How many medals are left? One. Okay, there actually might be a chance we don't hit it. I'm fine with that, though. Alright, well, Cynthia. Alright, we got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. He probably has Guzma, though, so there's that. But, uh... We have to put all the medals in play? Alright. Three here. I guess we'll build up Solgaleo. Sure. Don't really see a problem with building up Corona Impact. Hit him for 160, 170. We can QE with Dalmai's Knockout Ultra Necrozma. I like the sound of that. I don't even know if we're going to be using another Solgaleo, to be honest. Wish I had a Guzma, though. He's probably going to attack with Ultimate Necrozma. Which, it could knock me out. I don't know. This is kind of a tough spot. If I get Choice Band, if I got a Choice Band on Celesteela, I'd hit for 160. Dalmize would be 170, and then I hit Kikui. Like, Moonpress could also deal with the Ultimate Necrozma. And he's going in with it. Alright, that's annoying. I was hoping he wouldn't. I kind of really hope we can top that Guzma here to knock out Metagross. He's only taking one prize, though. I think we have to knock him out with Sunsteel Strike, though, too. That's the other thing. Because we kind of need to knock him out with that. Yeah, rip. What, does he not have Metal Energy or another Metagross? Dang it, he does. I mean, yeah, we have to knock him out here. I think we kind of just have to take the knockout. We're not getting knocked out there in return, which is good. We can try and hopefully get the other Sogaleo down before then. We're not... The game is far from over, as long as he doesn't have, like, a way to knock out my Lele. We should be good. Doesn't really matter. We kind of have the knockout, but this is the only, like, real threat on the board that can take a one-shot. Unless he gets another choice ban. How many has he played? Just two? Okay. There's a chance he doesn't find it. See what our prizes are. There's that. Okay, there's a Lily. That's good. So, we just need to get this guy in play, and we can rebuild up Sogaleo. I mean, if not, we can maybe do Pressure Self Steal. We do have Max Potion, so if he doesn't win this turn, we can heal the Sogaleo and just try to apply pressure that way. This guy really has the Guzma play. Oh, no. I mean, he hasn't played a Guzma, so I'm not surprised. But if he knocks out Cosmog, we're going to be in trouble. So we're gonna have to just try and hope that we can do enough with Cell Steel and, and that he doesn't hit Max Potions. That, but that's super risky. Maybe he doesn't have Guzma. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. He doesn't. Okay, this is a huge turn. This is a huge turn. Not only that, our win condition's looking better. Okay, let's uh, just put the boost energy on. Wish I had the effect. I think we just knock him out, because then we can finish off Delmize to win, maybe win the game if he doesn't win next turn. I gotta hope he just doesn't have Cynthia. He's only, he could have another Delmize, I don't know. Oh, we hit it. We hit it, that is huge. We actually hit the Sokaleo. Okay, this is where the comeback might come in. This is a really good match, though. I like it. This is a really good game. So if he doesn't win next turn, we should win the game unless he field blowers me. So we know he's grabbing Guzma. Does he have another Dalmize or another Choice Band to finish off Lele? That would be a really bad way to lose here just because of how good our kind of like board state is right now. 
Don't win the game. Please don't win the game. Please don't win the game. He didn't even need to grab Lele then. Please don't win the game. 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 This is it. This is the moment. Please just hit me for 160. Please. Please, please. I beg of you. Please don't win. Please don't win. He actually could have done Geotech system last turn too. If he really wanted to. Ooh, field blower. So he saves himself, potentially. And he slow rolls me. Oh my god, no. This guy, I am so... Mm, that angers me. Because we had a very good comeback play. <sighs> so annoying. Why did you have to have that choice band? Get out of here. <sighs> that makes me cry. Alright, let's do another match with our deck. Feeling a little disappointed right now, though. Holy cow, that cheeses me. Alright. So we're up against... It looks like a... Oh, please don't be Garchomp. That is such an annoying deck. But it looks like it's going to be a Zoark deck. Oh, man. So sad. That loss just... I hate losing in that way when they have the win on, like, Lele. Everything else on the board was just super tanky. Like, Cell Steela would have had 10 HP left. So... We actually have a really bad hand, so it looks like we're just going to lose anyways, which is awesome. I mean, Zorak Lycanroc is a bad matchup, I think, just because of how aggressive it is. And our hand is completely garbage, so I'm not liking this too much. I might... I might Guzma the Lele up if I don't draw anything. And just hope for the best. But no, not liking this word. I'm not liking this. Oh, I can't get over that loss. Oh. That's so sad. We we had uh, we had such a good like way to win. That's pretty annoying. My opponent had everything. He barely like did anything at the end of the game there. He just had all the energies he needed. He had the choice band. A little annoying that he slow rolled, but I hate losing like that, guys. I hate losing in general, but just games like that, I just hate losing. It just it I don't know, it makes me sad. Alright, we drew a Cynthia, so we're making the comeback hopefully work. I doubt it though. I, he probably has Guzma Zoark in hand. But we'll see. Okay, we got Rare Candy Sogaleo. We didn't get any more Cosmogs, so the game is probably looking like it's over. Who knows? I mean, I really hope he doesn't have the Guzma Zoark, though. That would really suck. Like, Cosmog's not living the turn. There's no way. If Cosmog survives the turn, I'm going to be really surprised. Really surprised. He's going to get rid of a Professor Kikui. He's going to Great Ball. He could grab another Lele if he has it, or he finds it here, so there's that. I mean, if he has energy and Lycanroc, I guess he gets the knockout. We gotta hope- ooh, he didn't get anything. If we can survive this turn... Okay, please survive the turn. We're weak to Dark, too, so we'll concede if he has the knockout here. I don't even care if I was going to draw into anything. That's just super annoying. <sighs> Dalmai's is weak to dark, so we would have been knocked out anyway, so there's no point in playing that game out. I hate losing to Zoark sometimes, but that's the way it is because they just had to print a card that OP. Anyways, we're going to go do another match. Icy Fire, that's fine though. So The new Sogaleo does get rid of your weakness, but it looks like it's just a Buzzwool deck. So that's fine. Though, but Lycanroc is like the worst thing in the planet, in the in the, on the planet right now, so there's that. Wow, what is with these hands being so awful? Um, as long as our Lele's not prized, we can grab a nice little Lily here. I guess Sogaleo Prism Star is the best starter you could ask for. Though, yeah, I think this deck might need an Alolan Vulpix, but I don't know. I feel like the deck is fine enough without it. So we gotta hope maybe Self Steel is not prized, and maybe we can get something going here. So we'll have to find out. I'm hoping that Sogaleo is safe. We do get to draw an extra card. Please don't be filler. Okay, so that's awesome. We get nothing good. Uh, we'll get rid of the two metals, which is fine. We can do Radiant Star. We'll grab a Cosmog. So we did prize a Cosmog. We do have a Celesteela. Prize a few energies. Uh, we prized a Rare Candy. That's annoying. We do have our Celesteela, though, so that's good. Celesteela can be really good in this matchup. Might as well play an energy on, doesn't really matter. And we'll do Cynthia, and hopefully we can at least find another Cosmog. 
Nice. Ooh. Okay, this hand could work pretty well. A little, little worried about Lycanroc, but I, maybe the general strategy is try and knock it out before it hits the board. Might as well play Celestila. Nah, we'll play Delmice. Yeah, I'm, I'll put Delmice down because I'll have some protection against... Um, well, not protect. Well, I can use the other Soleo GX, and then I can one-shot Buzzles or Baby Buzzles. I guess, I don't know. We'll just do that. I need to watch out what I put on my bench because of Lycanroc, but maybe he's just playing like a... a a Lycanroc, or Lycanroc. He's playing a Buzzwool Garboder deck, but I highly doubt it. This is most likely Buzzrock. Lycanroc is one of the most annoying cards on the game right now, because every time that's on the board, you know they're going to set a Dangerous Rogue. We got rid of a Buzzwool GX off of that discard. Very interesting to see. So I guess we see a Rocker hit the board. Target that... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys about the coughing. Again, I'm still sick. But I still gotta do videos because it would have been a week without uploading almost, so. It's fine though, as long as I'm not coughing too much. Ooh, please don't have a Guzma. Of course you had a Guzma and a Beast Energy. Despite only playing one Beast Energy. Okay, so. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Though it kind of is because I hate when that happens. We're getting hit really early on. This is the, kind of the problem with Stage 2. This format is still kind of aggressive. Oh, that rare candy top deck hurts. We're gonna have to get rid of it, too, so we can thin out the deck. But we should hopefully be able to hit the Sokaleo. There's, like, a pretty low chance that we don't hit it. Like, this is, like, a guarantee. Alright. Should be good. I don't even know if I want to destruct. Actually, it doesn't make... No, it doesn't matter. Maybe I get a card I can play. Field Blower. Okay, Lily for four. We actually whipped the Sogaleo? What? What? How does that happen? Dang it. Well, if I knew I was going to whiff it, I wouldn't run for Radiant Star, because then I could have built up a Sunsteel Strike. That's pretty annoying. So we're getting kind of unlucky with what we're drawing. No Ultra Balls, no Sogaleos, nothing. Just nothing. I hope he doesn't have, like, another Guzma play, but he shouldn't. This Oranguru shouldn't be able to retreat. Just going to play Professor Kikui. Gotta watch out for Rockruff, though. Nope, okay, Slugma. As long as I don't see a rocker fit the bench. I mean, if we don't find Sogaleo, we're, Cause Moem's gonna get knocked out by Jet Punches, unless he doesn't target it. But he's probably going to target my Cause Moem. Oh no, this deck really needs, like, Ditto Prism Star. It needs, like, a fifth. I think it needs that fifth Cosmog slot. Really, it does. Because when you're, when you're against Sogaleo and play, they just pick off your Cosmogs and your Cosmoans and you can't really do anything. And that's kind of the problem right now. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad he's not grabbing any uh, Rockruffs right now. Just Dionces. That's really good. Because if I see a, uh, if I see a Rockruff hit the board, I am going to go the other way. Alright, so he's going to instruct. Okay. So he Kikui'd me. He's going to be hitting me pretty hard here. He's two-shotting me, I think. Yeah, he's going to be able to take three prizes next turn if we don't draw anything. So here's to hoping we get what we want. Let's actually attach that to Tapu Lele. Bit of a waste of Hala, but uh, please give us Sogaleo. Mm. Max Potion kind of saves us, I guess. Really don't know why I'm playing this out. But I am. I mean, the game is far from over, but in my book, it kind of is over. And we're going to lose our Prism Star Sokaleo. But we'll, we'll see if we're able to maybe do something next turn. We can maybe make Instruct work. If not, we can, I guess, attempt to Energy Drive him, but he's going to take two prizes, most likely, so not going to work. We'll see. Maybe we get that. At least, we're at least we got the Max Potion, so at least we shouldn't lose Cosmo M next turn. I don't even think it's theoretically possible. Everything has a 2 retreat cost. There's no 1 retreaters in place, so we can't, like, Guzma me or anything. He's going to Lily for 5. I think once he gets Macargo down, we're going to be in trouble, because he's going to be able to get any card he wants. And that's when it's going to be, like, almost next to near impossible to get a Sogaleo down. So, yeah. That's what we're going to be watching out for. 
We'll see though. Let's see what my opponent does. But yeah, that's kind of the problem with this deck right now. You can see how we are getting slowly but surely pooped on. If this deck doesn't get a quick enough setup, like it just falls apart. It this deck just falls apart. We're gonna have to field blow off our choice band here just so we can like draw out of this. Okay, Kikui works, I guess. I still think we do the obstruct play. That's when, when you have to field blower off your own choice band, that's when you know you're having a horrible turn. Okay, Cynthia's a save, a lifesaver. And alright, thank you. Alright, there we go. We're back in the game a little bit. We're back in the game, kind of. Can't knock out Sokaleo next turn, I don't think. There's no rock rough, so we don't have to worry about, like, a dangerous rogue, thankfully. And yeah, we'll just knock out this, uh... Buzz will see if we get rare candy off the prizes so we can get the other Silk Leo down next turn. Let's see. Nope. Another Cosmog's pretty good. Okay. So he'll sledgehammer me. He won't knock me out. And we can just try and hope to find Max Potion. But if we can get the uh, other Silk Leo GX in play, we'll knock him out with, thankfully, Delmize. We can knock him out with the attack, rebuild up Silk Leo. And put more pressure on. But there's side annoying looking rocket rough. But there's no energy on it. Which is good. You can't beast ring to it. And it's actually good he's not building up like a, a big knuckle impact play. And he's building up swing around. Okay. So let's see what my opponent does. Just a sledgehammer. Alright. Just 140. Okay. What do we draw? No rare candy. Rip. Okay. Hmm. 120 plus 50, 170. Yeah, okay. I'm going to touch choice man to you because I could make a play with Kikui, but I think I go for Lily this turn. We'll get rid of... I guess the metal energy doesn't really matter. I guess Kikui can go... Whatever. I'll grab the Sogaleo. We have two candies, so we'll Lily for four here and see if we can hit it. Please, rare candy. Yes. Oh, we didn't get the DC, though. Ooh, we didn't get DCE. Rip. Wow. Okay, um, it's not over yet. Don't need to grab anything. Struck for three. This has to be a very big instruct. I don't think we prized a rare candy, or a rare candy, a DCE. So, well, we have three left. So, hopefully we get it. No, we didn't get it. Dang it. Um, I guess we'll attach the Sogaleo and go into, hmm, I guess Delmice, but, yeah, I guess Delmice. Sure. I could sacrifice Cosmog. If I go into Delmice, I force him to have to Kikui me. So, let's do that. He probably has a Guzma or Lycanroc, so I doubt Sogaleo GX survives the turn, but whatever. That whiff is pretty bad. That whiff was just... That was a bad whiff. Nah, he had the Lycan Rock. Dang it. Does he knock me out? Yeah, rip. I don't know. I feel like there's just too many annoying aggressive cards like Lycan Rock in the format to make this deck really work right now. I don't know. I think Alolan Ninetales GX will definitely improve this deck, I think. But other than that... Yeah, we're just getting... We're getting bodied. We're getting completely bodied right now. Let's see what we draw. Max Potion. Can't really play that. I guess. Doesn't really matter. <coughs> I'm just going to Struck for two. If I don't draw anything, I think I just concede because I don't see how I'm going to win. Okay, Cynthia. Let's see. Do we get that DCE? No, wow, holy cow, my luck, how, how unlucky can I get with this deck? Anyways, that'll wrap up this PCGO video, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to the road to 4k subs, and shout out to my friend on PCGO, <coughs> Brian, for lending me <coughs> the extra Sogaleo promo, <coughs> sorry guys about the coughing, but yeah, <coughs> we'll wrap up this PCGO video, again, I do think, <coughs> oh my god, apologies for the coughing, I hate being sick, but yeah, 
And this deck is just too slow right now to work. You kind of saw those Lycanrox just completely screwed me over. And we were getting really unlucky with the deck in those two matchups. But other than that, we tried. Tried to make the deck work. We had good games. The Metagross game was super, super close. We almost won that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in another video. Peace out. Bye.